Hello YouTube, and welcome to Dragon Fable, which is a computer game. And so, um, I, today is going to be my very first, uh, video. Um, and in this video I'm going to show you on how to become a Soul Weaver. So, or if you're in book 3 of Dragon Fable, you want to go back to book 1 and go come into um, Raven Loss. So I'm already a Soul Weaver, as you can tell by the armor that I'm wearing. But for those people who are not, um, once you enter into Raven Loss, you want to go to Tomics. Then afterwards, you have to complete all his quests first. And then at the very last quest, which is War, click on it, Quest. Okay, then it takes you this, uh, to this like sort of scene area with the gates open and all that other shit. So then before you do judgment wheel, you want to do the 50% cutscene or cutscene. I don't know how to pronounce that. So do that first and do meeting bell. So I'll do that for you guys. Oh god, the creepy music is on. I really dislike this music. It gives me the chills. So this is the part where you meet Val, and Val is that old guy who's sleeping. Am I addressing Val, the hero of Ravenloft? Ah, uh, a supplicant. Blah blah blah. Who really cares? We want to who get this over with. Sorry guys, I'm really impatient. <laughs> okay. Um, so once you finish the, this little scene right here, um, it will show complete quest soon. There we go. Okay, now once you finish that, you want to invite Tomix and do Judgment, uh, Day. So once you finish Judgment Day, you want to go back out of, uh, of Ravenloft, go back in. portal then go to atomics do become a soul weaver meet Aegis then this is a scene where you meet your soul ally and that's your spirit and this is what Aegis looks like Okay, once you're done with that, you uh, click become a soul weaver, I am ready, and in order to wear the armor, you have to give Tomix three spirit looms, and in order to get those three spirit looms, you have to do three random quests, and once you uh, finish those three random quests, at the end of each quest, it will offer you um, a spirit loom. And you have to have enough storage in order to get those uh, spirit looms. So yeah, then once you collect those, you click I am ready, go through your spirit looms. I already did. Wear armor, wear weaver armor. Back. Then in order to train your armor, which is like how like a skill, yeah, you have to train armor and train weaver armor. But you have to get each time you want to train your armor you have to obtain a spirit loom from uh, 
a random quest. And each spirit loom you trade in is one new skill for your armor. So, um, that's basically it. And the cool thing is that once you uh, get the armor, you can invite your soul ally. See, I showed him right there. And you guys fight. Let me show you something first, though. So, let's just do a random quest. Um, quest, tree fort, to battle. Okay, so see these guys? Let's go attack them first. So, the thing is that with the Soul Weaver, so once you gather the Spirit Looms, um, you can only do this side without the Dragon Omelet. And the dra what the Dragon Omelet is, it's basically like a sort of pass for you to do certain stuff that a regular free character might not. So since I don't have the Dragon Omelet, I can only do these things right here on the left hand side. For the right hand side, um, you have to have a dragon omelet. See it says requires DA which stands for dragon omelet. And this whole entire side just you have to have a dragon omelet. And sadly I wasted my time on doing three ones because I was hoping that maybe each one would, maybe one of these would allow me to, you know, attack or use the skill. So let me just kill these people. And yeah, that's basically it. And so your soul ally, what his um, type or his type of magic is um, ice magic. He, so he's an ice magic guy. So I definitely don't recommend taking him on quests that have ice monsters because um, that won't work out. And um, yeah, that's just a tip. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if it answered your um, question on how to become a soul weaver. Um, I hope you guys like this video and comment below on what other types of video games I should play and um, please subscribe to this channel and um, I hope this guys this answered your question um so that will be the end of this video I hope you guys enjoyed it thank you very much for joining me here and there will definitely be more videos but I'm just done with the question so bye